Sucky, you piece of shit! Don't leave us out here with him! Oh, Jesus! Swifty, I got it's all fucking night. Step away from the line. Darklings hate light. Jesus Christ. I gotta get a new job. Where's Swifty going in such a hurry? Fuck, I don't know. Maybe his house is on fire. I am invisible. Like ninja. Forgive me! I should have been up. Gotta be around here.
must be going nuts. <laughs> Swifty, who the fuck put you up to this? You, you think I wanted to mess with you? Come on, I, I had no choice. I'm saying someone apart. You stubborn prick! Are you even listening to what I'm saying?
You better start talking. I think I think they're like some kind of secret club or something, you know? They gave they gave me an envelope with a whole load of cash in it. Their boss, their, their leader, whatever. I, I I met him in a brothel, the the Brimstone Club. All right? Look, I'm telling you, th these guys are some kind of. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Stop it, you miserable fucking rat! <laughs> what the fuck did you do? I needed him. I needed answers. Was nothing. Once the darkness gets a hold of you, you start to lose control. You start to wonder what the fuck you're doing. Time slips away from you. And then, all of a sudden, it's like you're sitting in a theater, watching a movie of your own life. And you're up there on the big screen, big as life. You're a fucking movie star, and you're killing all the bad guys, tearing them limb from limb. And you feel good, you look good. Fuck. 
You are good. And then you realize something. Everyone else in the theater? They're screaming. Because they're watching a horror movie. And you're not the hero. You're the monster. Eddie and Frank are checking out the Brimstone right now. And the new guys found your buddy, Johnny Powell. Yeah, he didn't take to your invitation, so... We put him in the back room so he could shit his pants for a while. Follow me. Can't wait to see him again. Ask me, this guy's a couple clowns short of a circus, Jackie. He wasn't living by the Queensboro Bridge, he was living under it, in a cardboard box. Alright, come on. He's back here. Hey, Chief, how's the wife and kids? Hmm. Well, he's in a good mood. There you go. Knock yourself out. So let's say you live in a big house and you own some books. I mean, some other fuck nuts might live at the North Pole and they own a lawnmower, but th that don't mean nothing. I can keep a secret. I can keep a secret. Just let me go and I won't breathe a word. Scout's honor. Johnny Powell. You look like shit. You were supposed to be the expert. I paid you good money to help me figure things out, and you repaid me by skipping out in the middle of the night? For what? Jackie, I did what I could to help you control the darkness. But being around you was becoming a problem for me. The darkness is so fucking seductive. I could hear it whispering to me whenever I was around you. It was starting to change me. Are you gonna kill me? Is that what this is all about? I let it out, Johnny. Now I don't know if I can control it. Let the darkness back out? Jesus Christ, Jackie, that thing is like a slow suicide. Then help me get it back under control. You don't control the darkness, Jackie. You cower in fucking fear of it, and you pray it goes away. The longer the darkness is active, the more it'll try to confuse you. <laughs> it'll try to trap you, make you see stuff that, that, that other people can't see. I need your help. So you're back on the payroll until I say you can go. Bunch of assholes just came after my entire operation. And whoever gave them this envelope is connected to the darkness somehow. I need you to figure out who they are and what they know about it. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll do what I can. It's, it'll go a lot faster if you get one of your gorillas to untie me. Please? You can untie him now, Chief. But keep an eye on him for me, would you? Hmm. Wow, that guy really let himself go. I used to think he was pretty smart. Now he looks like something the cat threw up. Hey, hey, Frank and Eddie are back from the club. They're waiting for you with Jimmy in your office. All right. Thanks, Vin. Don't you listen to that voice in your head, Jackie. You fear the darkness like it was the devil himself. Everything it says is a lie. It lives in Viscera. And you are the focus. It wants chaos. Whoa, hold up! Whoa, 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 Whatever you do, for the love of God, don't ever let that blade touch your skin. I mean, what do you think you're doing bringing that here? Well, okay, yes, 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 this is your house, so I guess you can do whatever the fuck you want. But remember, I'm here to help you figure if what you want to do is actually something you don't want to do. Trust me when I say, using that knife falls into the latter category. That's a Ferba, which on its own is dangerous enough to a guy like you. A Ferba's blade will pin a demon to the spot. Once that's done, only the person who shanked the demon can free it. Now, it is possible that a normal Ferba wouldn't be strong enough to bind you. But this is the Trinity. Its blade was forged from the three nails that crucified Christ. Not normal! Extremely not normal! If you'd cut yourself with the Trinity, you would have been paralyzed. The only person who could have set you free would have been you, which you wouldn't be able to do because you would be paralyzed. Do you see the paradox here? Come to think of it, you ever decide to touch this stuff, just, just, just ask first, all right? Nothing big, just a simple, hey, Johnny, is it okay if I touch this? And I'll say, sure, Jackie. That absolutely will not trap you in a never-ending loop of torment. Or I'll say the other thing. You know, no! I hunger for blood! 
Okay, that was weird. That was that was weird. Don't be a stranger, Mr. E. How you holding up, Jackie? I'm all right, Aunt Sarah. How you doing? I have arthritis and two bum knees. Every day is a gift. How do you think I'm doing? You're something else, you know that? And you look like shit, you know that? I'm gonna make you some of that meatloaf you love so much. I'll have it for you in a couple of hours. Nice home-cooked meal is what you need. You're the best. Bet your ass I am. Jackie, you're gonna wanna hear this. That Swifty prick was right. The assholes who hit us are hiding out at the Brimstone. What did you geniuses find out? It was Eddie worded. I was otherwise engaged at the time. He was busy snorting coke off a hooker's ass. Never could multitask. Well, these two chuckleheads are getting their dick spit polished. One of the whores starts running their mouth about the new owners. I had this girl, Camille. She says the place got bought up last month. The new guys took over the top floor. Yeah, but that ain't the best part. Camille says she's seen some weird guy with a limp go in and out of the place. Says he looks like Nosferatu on crack. Who the fuck is Nosferatu? Your grandmother. No idea if this wank job and his crew are still there. But it might be worth checking out. All right, enough talking. I'm headed down there. Whatever you say, Jackie. I think Vinny has a friend who works there. Might want to ask him about her. What's going on? Hey, Jackie, you fuck up that pool all good or what? You're a good boy, Jackie. Always did know how to break a few faces here and there. You done good at the pool hall, kid. But we still got work to do. You set on what we gotta do next, Jackie? This fucking town is crazy right now. Worse than ever. Hey there, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. So, uh, Jimmy told me about the Brimstone Club. Sounds like a real dumpster. You, uh, got a hookup over there? Well, uh, you mean, uh, me? Well, I, I mean, I'd never go to a cesspool like that, but I, I got a friend who goes there sometimes, who, you know, when it's late at night, when other places are closed. I know a girl there named Venus. Sure, she can help you out. She's a real handful. Two of them, actually. The new owners are real pissy about the door. They don't let nobody bring a gun in. That's fine, though, because you probably want to learn as much as you can before you, you know, do your thing and scare the living shit out of them. Damn right. Okay, then. You ready to get some fucking answers? Take me to this shithole, Vinny. I thought you'd never ask. Let's go. Jackie, Jackie, wait! What? What's the matter? Uh, 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 uh this envelope... Uh, uh, where did you say you got it again? Off some dead guy that was paid to kill me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Something wrong, Johnny? Uh, nothing. Um, uh, couldn't be them. Because that'd be really bad. Hey, um, I, 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 I gotta do some more research. Uh, good luck in your killing spree. Me and the boys will take him to the zoo while you're gone. Retards like the zoo. Let's go, Vinny. That a boy, Jackie. What do you say we go tweak some nipples and see what happens, huh? <laughs> I remember this one time, when it was summer, hot as balls. Jenny and me were on the stoop, with a couple of cones there, trying to cool off. And here comes this fucking kid. You know the type. Asshole all the way. He shoves me over, and takes a seat between the two of us. Jenny, takes one look at him, dumped her cone right in his lap. <laughs> That's when he pushed her. So I did what I had to do. I curbed the little fuck. Figured a few months eating through a straw would teach him how to talk to a lady. Jenny? Didn't talk to me for a week. 